encourage anyone who's listening, who thinks that this might be helpful for you to play this game where for 24 hours you say no to every single person who asks you for something. You can do whatever you want, but I recommend that you practice saying no as simply as possible and also to be warm when you say no. And we think that people are not going to like us because we're saying no to them, but they're not liking us if we're treating them coldly. And right. you have so much leeway to say no if you do this by saying no to the offer or invitation without saying no to the actual person. And when we talk to Nedra Tawab about boundaries, the problem that many of us find ourselves in if we're just establishing them for the first time is we'll qualify. So we'll say no, and then we'll start to trip over our own words because I have <laughs> right. this thing and I can't do it now. And we try to soften the no. And in actuality, someone who's really good at influence and persuasion can talk us back into the yes, or exactly. we can really lose value in the other person's eyes because now we're showcasing to them that we don't value them as much as our work or, or their friendship or our dog or whatever the excuse is that we're using to soften that no. And that's why I love that exercise of just with warmth, with grace, express a no and realize that people will respond okay to that and your relationships are intact. And actually many yeah. of them will thrive because people will have more respect for you because you respect yourself. When you become more comfortable saying no, you actually become more comfortable with hearing no. So it's rejection therapy, but in the inverse. So many exercises will be like, go out there and get a thousand no's. That sounds exhausting. That's really tough and it's brutal. And, and unless you're an actor and you're used to getting rejected constantly or a salesperson, that's tough for most. But a simpler way is to actually practice saying no, be in the presence of that no, absorb it, and then you realize no is not a big deal to express it or to hear it. And it's way more fun to practice saying no than it is to practice hearing no, although I do believe that that part is important too. What's cool when you're comfortable hearing no is that it changes the way you ask and your requests lose this edge of neediness that can be repulsive for other people. Mm -hmm.